everyone, my name is Teacher Nina and today we are going to learn about parts of plants. Here I have with me my class of cacti. Hello, good morning my students. Hmm. Hey, you must be the class monitor since you're the tallest one. Okay, come here monitor. I have a few questions to ask. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, I'm the teacher here. Of... Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh my god. Hey, you listen. You listen. No, you listen. You listen. I am the teacher. I am the teacher. No, you're not. You are the pupil. Come on. But you are the pupil. <sighs> Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Tell you what. Let us do something that we can enjoy, shall we? Okay, let's dance. Oh, all right. DD TV KPM. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of things, but uh, teacher, teacher, where are you, teacher? Oh, here, teacher here, Nina? here I am. Oh, oh my God. Hi, teacher. Hello. Nina. Sorry, this class monitor is. I don't know. Oh, I was okay. wondering where you went. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Hi, teacher Nina. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. How are you, Sean? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm wow, doing great. Of course, nice very, very important for us. Even though we are in the show right now, we want to do our exploration. Very important for us to remind all of our friends who are watching Troka right now to always follow the SOPs in place. For example, both of us are wearing face masks. We are at least one meter apart. And also, so what I'm going to do now, you're already wearing gloves. I'm sure you already sanitized your hands. I'm going to do the same as well. I'm just going to sanitize my hands uh, to make sure that my hands are completely clean. Yep. Okay, and for those of you who are watching at home who have never met Teacher Nina, maybe Teacher Nina, you could introduce yourself, uh, introduce yourself to our friends at home. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Nur Halina Binti Abdurrahman. Or pupils usually call me Teacher Nina, and I am a science teacher from Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya Persin 181. Oh, all right. How long have you been teaching so far? This is my 15th year already. 15th year. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's really, really amazing. And for our exploration today, before I ask you, uh, I know that we're going to explore our subject or our you know day to day with uh, some friends, right? Yes, we yes. have. Yes. Let's see who they are. I think they're online right now. Hi. Good morning. Hello, kids. Hi. Hi. Wow. Look at all their fresh and happy faces. They are all ready to explore today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mention your name. I'm going to say your name. Please introduce yourself, okay? We're going to start off first. Uh, who should we start off with? Uh, let's start with Arisa. All right, Arisa. Hi, Abasham. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is No Ariana Arisa. You can call me Arisa. Thank you so much, Arisa. And next, we have uh, Shamil. Hi, Abashan. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Shamil Najahan, which is a food of Shamil. Thank you, Shamil. And next, we have... Um, Adni? Adni, yes. Hi, Abashan. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Adni Nusasabila binti Azida. You can call me Adni. Thank you so much, Adni. Next up, we have Early, uh, Early, Early, Arisa. Also, oh, Arisa. Yes, done already. Oh, okay. Already done. Ikram. 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 Ah, Ikram. Hi, Abang Sean. Welcome, everyone. My name is Ikram. You can call me Ikram. Thank you so much, Ikram. Uh, next, we have Amsha. Um, Amsha. Hi, 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 Basha. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Muhammad Shahakim. You can call me Aksha. 
Thank you, Amsha. And last but not least, we have Dian. Dian. Hi, Abang Sean. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Nor Dian Dalila Binti Abdul Rahim. You can call me Dian. Thank you so much, Dian. And I have a question for all of you. Are you ready for our exploration today? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Yay! Yes. Everyone is ready. I am super, super excited to find out what we're going to learn because I saw there's a lot of objects here, a lot of stuff yes. here. Yes. What are we exploring today? Okay, we are going to explore the parts of plants. Usually, people have already learned about what is leaf, mm -hmm. which one is a stem, but today we are going to learn the different types of leaves. Oh. Uh -huh. There are plants that are flowering and non-flowering. Oh. And then different types of stems and also different types of roots. Wow. And then we are going to learn the functions or the importance of these parts mm -hmm. to the plants itself. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are very, very interesting. I'm very intrigued. But before that, I want everyone to get yourselves ready and make sure you are ready for exploration today because it's going to be super fun. And we're back to you for Troker on Didit TV KPM. We're going to take a short break. flowers that we actually eat as vegetable? Yes, they are cauliflower and broccoli. Hi, I'm Maya and this is my orchid plant. It's colorful and have a very nice smell. Orchid is a flowering plant and one of the two largest families of flowering plants. Orchids can be happy growing in a soil that contains dried fern roots, coconut fiber, lava rock, peat moss, stones or rock wool, or combine several of these soils. Orchids have adventitious roots that are similar to the fibrous roots. They can be underground or above the ground. The roots can be fine and thick. Orchids have a simple leaf with parallel veins. Did you know that orchid can grow through the stem? from a single bud. Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. It's time for Troker. I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys are as well. Okay, uh, Teacher Nina, yes. let's begin our exploration. All right, let's yes. begin now. Yes. Okay, as I've promised you, the first one is yes. the different types of leaves. Ooh. Okay, let's start with the first one. Mm -hmm. Look at this here, what I have. Aha, uh -huh. oh. look at the leaves of this plant. Wow. Okay. This is called the nectar veins. Nectar veins. Yes, because okay. the veins are somewhat intertwined. You can see one main vein mm -hmm. and the other ones coming out from it. Ah, so oh. this is what we call nectar veins. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have another example here, also coloured uh, leaves, so that mm -hmm. you can see. Uh, this is quite different. But if you see closely, the veins are netted. So it means that it has something from from the middle. Yeah, from the and middle. And it just branches out yes. like that. Yes, so that's wow, what... that's observant of you, Sean. That yeah? is absolutely right. Ooh. Okay, can I have uh, one of the pupils in online uh, and tell me what are the plants that have um, veins such as this one? Okay, can we have Shamil? Shamil, can you please show? Do you have? Shamil? Oh, Shamil is not here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Maybe he went to uh, find an example. All right. Yeah, maybe. Okay, it's okay. All right, now, 
let's move on to the next type of leaf. Okay. Which is the parallel. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we have Shamil. Oh, okay. Hi, Shamil. Ah, okay. there he is. Ah, hi, Shamil. Oh, what do you have there? This is a leaf with veins. Yes, oh. netted veins. Very good example. Thank you, Shamil. Yay. Yay. Okay. The next type is mm -hmm. parallel veins. Okay. Parallel, I have an example here, a pandanus plant or daun pandan. Um, okay. As we usually pandan call leaves, it. Yes, yeah. pandan leaves. So you can see here that the leaves, the lines on the leaves are straight and they do not intertwine with each other. Oh, so it just goes straight lines. Straight, straight, straight parallel. Straight. Okay. Okay, so that is called parallel veins. Okay, mm -hmm. what about... Um, Dian, Dian, do you have another example for us? Dian, could you turn on your microphone, please? Okay. Okay. This is a leaf with parallel veins. Oh, yes, that is correct. Thank you, well Dian. Done. Okay, next is the one that I told you before about mm -hmm. flowering plants. Oh, yes. Some plants do not have flowers at all. Oh. But some do. Okay, so let's look at an example here. I have uh -huh, this one. This is called a periwinkle. Oh, a periwinkle. periwinkle. Okay. See, it has flowers. Wow, they're ah. really pretty. Yes, it is. Okay, so I need someone to tell me uh, if they have another example of a flowering plant. Maybe um, flowering plant, uh, Arisa. Arisa? It's a flowering plant. Oh, yes, that is. Wow, that's really nice. I have asked them to explore themselves with their parents. Ah, that's why that's they are good. ready with yes. a picture. Yes. Thank you, Arissa. Okay, now, if we have flowering plant, mm -hmm. there is another type of plants that do not have any flowers at all. Okay. Okay, for example, this one. Uh, this small plant is called fern. It's a fern. It's a fern. Ah, yes. It won't have any flowers. Sometimes we see plants that do not have any flowers, but they will have later on in their lives. But mm -hmm. ferns, they won't have any flowers at all. Ah. Okay, so let me hear from Amsha. Amsha, do you have another example of a non-flowering plant? It's a non-flowering plant. Ah, non-flowering. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, next. Ah, okay. Woody stem, woody, woody, woody stem. Okay. okay, this is a part of um, a tree uh, mm -hmm. or a plant that is as um, holding up this plant, right? Okay, yeah. So this part is actually woody. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, woody means it it is uh, like wood. Okay. And it's strong. Okay. All yeah. right. So can I have Adani? Adani, do you have another example of woody stem plant? Woody stem. Wow, that's a really big stem you have there. Wow. Ah, that's correct. That looks like maybe it's... Is it a durian tree, Adani? Maybe it is because it looks really big yes, and strong. Yes, really strong. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Adani. Thank you. All right, non-woody would be something like this. This is a leek. A leek? Yes, ah. look at the stem. It is... Um, Easily broken. You can just break it oh. like that. Okay. Ah, so this is non-woody stem. Okay, can I have Ikram? Ikram, can you show an example that you have? Okay, could I hold that for a Ah, oh. Okay, that's good, Ikram. That is correct. That is a papaya plant. And the stem of the papaya plant is actually non-woody. Yes, it's actually I've, I I have a papaya plant at home, uh -huh. and I see that the plant, uh, the the wood or the stem, it's pretty soft actually. Yes, actually, it's yeah. Really, it is because soft. if it goes to a certain height, it will start to bend if it's not 
that strong. So you yeah. are really observant. <laughs> <laughs> that is a skill for science, actually. That's oh, really, good. really? Yeah, scientific skill. Oh, I didn't know I had it one. in me. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, thank you. All right, now ah, uh, the best part would be learning about roots. Okay, roots. There are two types of roots. Mm -hmm. The first one is tap root. Okay, I have to take it out first. Okay, I'm sorry. Something happened to this brinjal tree of mine. Oh. Okay, but it's okay. I'm going to show to you mm -hmm. the uh, the root of this. Ah, okay. Oh wow. Ah, this is a brinjal plant. Okay. And can you see that? There is one strong or big um, root that there. Goes down here. Oh, okay, it looks like uh, it is intertwined or something, but there is one here. Okay. Yes, I see that. Ah, wow. and the others are coming out from it. So this is tap root, and I have one more example, which is more interesting. I think mm -hmm. uh, you would love this. Okay, do you know what plant this is? This is actually uh, taken from my uh, science garden in school. Oh, I'm not so sure. Uh, you use it, you use the leaves for cooking mm -hmm. and also, look here. Uh oh. Oh ho, oh ho. Okay. I think someone can guess it by now. Look at the root, and it is really something. See? Oh, wow. Can you see? <laughs> okay, this part. This one big and strong root here. Okay, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Ha, huh, see how big it is? This is actually turmeric, Abang Sean. Oh, Kunyit. yeah. Yes, this is turmeric. Ah, your mom usually have this in their cookings. Mm. Ah, okay. So this is turmeric and this is tap root. Okay. Tap root means it has one big and strong root and smaller roots coming out from it. Okay, can Ooh. we have um, Shamil again? Shamil, do you have another example of a tap root? It has tap root. Yes, wow. thank you. Okay, good job, Shamil. Okay, very good. Now, okay, last but not least, fibrous root. Fibrous root. I have a very cute example here. Oh, look at that. Ah, this is wow. called fibrous root. Okay, this plant is actually a water lettuce. Mm -hmm. Water lettuce, or mm -hmm. in Bahasa Melayu, we call it kiambang. Ah. Uh, it lives in water, on, on the surface of water. Yes. If I lift it up like this, ah, you can see that all the roots are actually of the same size. There mm -hmm. is no one uh, strong one. It, it is the same. All of them are the same. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. It it's looks so like beautiful. feathers, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay, so can I have another example? Maybe from Dian. Dian, you have another example of fibrous root? Yeah. Has fibrous root. Yes, yes, that's a very good example. I can see that. Okay, good job, Dia. Well done. Yay. Okay, everyone. Ah, uh, now, shall we move on uh, to an activity from your activity book? Ah, okay. If you look here, Abang Sean, here oh. we have. Over here? Ah, yes. You Can you please go over there, okay, maybe? Okay, I'll so, go on this side. So that we can yes, keep our distance. Very important to yes. keep our distance. Yeah? All right. So, this is actually taken from uh, activity book page 37. Okay? Your science activity book that comes with your textbook. Okay, so now, uh, if you look at these four plants, you can see that some of them have the same parts. Uh, same hmm. type of leaves and also roots. Okay, I need Adani. Adani, can you tell me which plants have uh, parallel leaves, parallel and veins? Chives and chives and and onion and onion. onion. Yes, very chives good. And okay, the, yes, the red one about Sean. Okay, parallel so the middle veins. ones here. Yeah? Yes. Here we go. Yay! Here. Good job, Adeline. And here. Oh. 
Well done! Yay! As you can see, the leaves have parallel veins. Okay, Ooh. now, let's look at um, uh, the netted veins. Which ones have netted veins? Can we have Ikram? Okra and sunflower plants. Yes, okra and sunflower plant have netted veins. Very good, Ikram. Good job. Yay. Yay. Okay, now let's look at the roots. Ah, we can see two different types of roots here. Let's hear from Arissa. Arissa, which of these plants have a fibrous root? Onion and chives plant. Ah, onion and chives plant. Yes, that's good. Amazing, Arissa. Good job. There we go. Just placing oh, it up here. Yes. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Abang Sean. All right. Last but not least, what about tap root? Which ones have tap root? Can we have Amsha to help us? Amsha? Okay. Okra and sunflower plant tap root. Yes, okra and sunflower plant. There we Yay, go. Yay, good job, Amsha. Thank you very much. Yay. Yay. Okay, now we're done with page 37. Mm -hmm. Let us go back a little bit. Page 36. Okay. Ah, here we have, this is actually a sugar cane plant. Mm -hmm. And that one is actually a frangipani. Okay. Okay. So, I need someone. Uh, I have asked um, two pupils to do an exploration by themselves before this. Mm -hmm. And I need Shamil. Shamil, what can you tell us about this sugar, plane, sugar cane plant? Oh, he even has a picture of it. Wow. It's a flowering plant. Uh -huh. It has two leaves. Things. Okay. Then you use them and find those good. Okay. All right. All right. I think we heard him. First, he said it's a flowering plant okay. because it has a flower here, if oh, you can yes. see. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And it has a parallel uh, leaf veins. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, I'm going to lift up if it, he is correct. Yes. Wow. Okay, so it is a flowering plant. Mm -hmm. It has parallel leaf veins. Yes. Yeah. The wood, the stem is non-woody. Okay. So he is correct. You're correct, Shamil. And the roots are actually fibrous. Okay, well, good job. Yeah. All right, what about this frangy penny? Oh, this is not Frenchy Penny. This is Periwinkle. Oh, Periwinkle. Oh, sorry. It? I'm so sorry. This is Periwinkle. Okay. Um, who have I asked to do the exploration? Dian. Okay, Dian. Tell us more about Periwinkle. Periwinkle plant has flowers too. The leaf is with native veins and it has a woody stem and cut Aha. Let's see if... Dian is correct. Wow. Yes, I think she is. Okay, it is also a flowering plant mm -hmm. with netted leaf veins and woody stem and also tap root. Wow, awesome, Dian. Well done, Dian. And also yes. for all our other friends who are on, give yourselves a round of applause. Ooh, good job. Yay. All right, so what we're going to do now, because they've done a, such a good job, they deserve a short break. How about we take a short break and be back to you for Taroka on Didier TV KPM. Besides henna leaf that are always used as dyes on the bride's hands, some other plants are also fantastic natural dyes. Butterfly pea flower, turmeric, 
and be true are some of the examples. Hello everyone! Let me show you how the stem of plants can transport water to other parts. First, we prepare suitable plants for our experiment. Here, I use long cabbage, celery, and white carnation. I put in five different food colorants in tap water. I use tall containers. Then, I carefully place the plants that I have prepared into each container, making sure that only the bottom part is soaked into the colored water. See what happens after just one day. We can see the leaves of the long cabbage is almost fully colored from bottom up. The white carnations have also changed colors, especially the blue one. As for the celery, we can see from the top most part that water from the bottom have already reached up. This experiment proves that stem can transport water from bottom to other parts of the plants. Thank you everyone! Bye! Wow! Look at all these colorful flowers and ooh, wow! You are now watching Teroka on Dinet TV KPM with me, Sean Steven, and also Teacher Nina. Just before we, you know, just before we, we are here, we were actually watching a video, something to do with this. Could you kindly explain again what actually happened or why are we doing okay. this? Okay, what we are going to learn actually is the functions of each part of the plant. Oh! Okay. For this experiment, is actually uh, exactly the stem of the plant, mm -hmm. which is to transport food, water and nutrients. Ah. But for this experiment, water. Okay. As you can see here, I have used uh, three types of plants, which is uh, the long cabbage or Chinese cabbage, mm -hmm. celery and also white carnation. Okay. Ah, so you can see uh, how the stem of these plants brings up transport from the bottom part to the upper part. Okay, I'm going to show you one example. I'm going to take this celery. Okay. Okay, and I have a scissors here. All right. Look so what happens. Cut that. All right. Okay. Look. Ah. Okay. Could you pull okay. That for us see. First? Oh. Oh. Wow. Can you see? Yeah. Ah. So from the bottom part of this uh, celery, yeah, the stem here brings up all the colors mm -hmm. uh, to the upper part. The same goes with the flower. Can you see? This is originally white and now okay. it has blue shades. So it really absorbed and transported yes. or brought the water from the bottom all the way up. Yep. And from this experiment, this is uh, for just a side experiment, we can mm -hmm. see that maybe the long cabbage is the best plant to, uh, to actually demonstrate how stem can transport water. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, because, okay. Yeah. As you can see, you can see clearly blue, uh, green, purple. Oh yes, even here this yellow. is I think pink or something. So this yeah. is the, the the long cabbage that you were saying. Yes. Yeah. So you can see it really changed its color from about greenish to something red. Yes. Wow. Ah, isn't that something? You can try this at home. It is really easy, right? Okay. So now we are going to ask because I have asked my pupils to explore themselves first. Yes. Let's see if their exploration is right on the right track or not. Okay, let's learn about leaves. Okay, now I shall move here. Or Sean, can you? Okay, shall we go uh, there? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, me first? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So, so here. here. Okay, I'm gonna take off my gloves. Ooh, All right. What's this? Okay, so Adani, can we have Adani? Do you know what is the function of a leaf? Leaves need food for the plant. Aha! Uh -huh. She said leaves make food for the plant. See if that's correct. Yes, Absolutely! Yes, right. the same! Yes, good job, Adani. Correct. Okay, next. For flower, can we have from Ikram? Hmm. Ikram, do you know? Flower become the fruit and seed. Yes, you are absolutely right, Ikram. The flower will become 
the fruit and the seed. Yeah. Good job, Ikram. Okay, now I would like to hear from Arisa. Arisa, what have you explored? Transport. Can, can you lift it up a little bit? Transport food. Okay, yes. Oh, she was saying stem. Transport food made by the leaves. Okay, thank you, Arisa. Yay, good job. It's true. And besides food, <coughs> stem also transports water and nutrients. Yes. Oh, good job, Arisa. Okay, now can we hear from Amsha? What do you have about roots? Roots support the water and nutrients. Okay, roots support the plant. Absorbs water and nutrients. Well Yay! Done. Good job, Amsha. Okay, now we have learned what are the functions or the importance of each part of the plant for the plant itself. Yeah. Ah, so now we can appreciate more about plants, right? Okay, now let's move on over there, Bang Sean. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. What else are we going here. to do? Okay, we have two plants over here. This is from your activity book again on mm -hmm. page 39. Okay, here we have a Frenchie Penny. Okay. I have also, this is also a Frenchie Penny. Oh, wow, this uh, big this one? Is, yes. Uh, but the flowers are a bit wilted, but it's okay. Maybe so, they're sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a Frenchie Penny. Yeah. And also, we are going to compare and contrast with Ixora. Ixora, this one? Okay. Yes, Ixora. I think we usually see this by the roadside. Oh, yes. Your flowers ah, are very so this is... small and star-like shapes <laughs> in a way. It reminds me of my childhood. Yeah? Yeah, you can actually... Oh, I'm not going to show. I'm not giving ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we okay. should skip that part. <laughs> So, I need to hear from Shamil. Shamil, you have uh, searched and uh, explored about Frenji pennies. So, what have you got for us, Shamil? Frenji penny plant has flowers. Mm -hmm. With leaf wings. Uh -huh. With this young and that root. Oh, okay. Oh, he has a picture of a white Frenji penny. Mm. Okay, yes. Frenchy Penny uh, has netted veins leaf. Okay, yeah. as you can see here, mm -hmm. the veins are netted. Ah, it's very clear, right? Yes. One strong one in the middle. And the rest like ah. goes outwards. Okay, it has a woody stem mm -hmm. and tap root. Yeah. Very good, Shamir. Okay, what about Dian? What have you got for us about Ixora? And it Zora plant bears flowers too. The leaves have native veins and and it is supported by taproot and woody stem. Oh yes, that is absolutely right, Dia. Good Yay. job. So Abang Sean, yes. as you can see here, mm -hmm. both plants have similar parts. Yeah. Uh, both have netted vein mm -hmm. leaves, yeah. right? Okay, both have um, woody, stem. woody stem. Both are, of course, flowering plants, mm -hmm. and they have tap roots. Yeah. Ah, that is comparing between two different plants. Yes. So now you can see, just like other hum uh, other living things, mm -hmm. for example, humans, we have yeah. the similar parts. We have two hands. Yes. Two okay. eyes. Yeah. A mouth, a nose. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But. An Exora plant, the flowers look like this mm -hmm. and the leaves are smaller compared to French Yes. So, <clears throat> this is a skill that everyone needs to have. To know, to compare and contrast between two different plants. Yes. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> shall we move on Abang Sean? Oh yes! Alright, now yes. we are going to look again at another... Okay, I'm going to show again about periwinkle. Okay, Adani. Adani, I'm going to show you this two plants. 
this periwinkle and Ixora. What can you say about these two plants? Both have flowers. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. Both That's have flowers. That's the first flowers. thing I saw as yes. well. Yes. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to look at uh, ask pupils to look at this frangipani ikram. What can you say about the leaves of uh, this uh, plant? The rose plant has leaf bands. Oh, this is not a rose, sorry. This is frangipani, but he is right. It has Method leaf veins. Very mm. good. Okay, good job, Ikram. Okay, now I am going to <coughs> uproot again yes. since I have here. Ah. Shall I remove the, the glasses oh, in front? Yes. So you are able yes, you so may. our friends are able to see. Oh, okay. Excuse me, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Alright. Gonna place this here and here. Maybe I'll bring okay. this over to that okay. side. Okay. All right. Thank you, Abang Sean. Uh, most so, welcome. As you can see here, this is a, a okra, an okra plant. Mm -hmm. uh, you see? There's oh. an okra here already. Ah. Right. So let's uproot it. Oh, I have take off my gloves, but it is okay. I love doing this. It's actually good exploration because... You ah, get to feel the soil. Yes, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Oh, I'm gonna dirty my hands, but it's okay. It's okay, we have... For your sake, nearby. pupils. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I want uh, Arissa to look at this really carefully and tell everyone what type of root is this. Okay, uh, come on, come on. But guys, uh, pupils, don't do this at home, okay? Ask for permission from your parents. Oh, yes, first. very, very important to ask your parents first. And if your yes. parents say okay, maybe you can okay. ask them to help you as well. Whoa, whoa, look at that. It has a very complex system here. Oh, ah, look at that. I can see a lot of roots are going whoa. here and there. But we need to see if it's a fibrous root or tap root. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's going there. Ah. Maybe I can take a guess while you're doing okay, that. Okay, take a guess. We, we have sure. three different types of roots, right? Two. So, or oh, two, sorry. Uh -huh. We have tap root. Uh, tap root as well as the one that's fibrous a big root. root. Uh, uh, tap root is the big one. Yep. The fibrous root is the one that, that goes around everywhere. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I have some water here so that okay. I can dip it and Just. show you. Ah. Can you see now? Yes. Okay, Arissa. Look at this root. What type of root is this, Arissa? Tap root. Yes, tap root because you can see one big and strong root and smaller mm -hmm. roots coming out from it. Good job, well Arissa. All right, now we have a ah, stem. Okay, mm -hmm. for stem, ah. Uh, I'm going to use this again. Okay. This is hard and strong. Yes. So what do we call this type of stem? Amsha. This one. Woody stem. Woody stem. That is absolutely right. Okay, good job, kids. All right. Um, so besides woody stem, we have the other one, which is non-woody stem. For non example, stem. this ah, you can see here this pandan mm -hmm. plant again. Ah, the stem is actually very soft. Okay. And there's something different about the root. Can you see? It is above the crown. Ah yes. I Why actually do you noticed think there that? are some plants where the roots are not under the, the, the soil or ground, it is above or some even grow out above. Yep. Why is that so? Um, I think this one is my fault because the pot is actually too small for oh, this plant already. Okay. So we need to transfer it to a bigger mm -hmm. pot, for example, like this. Ah, okay. So be careful when you have potted plants. Mm -hmm. When you see the roots are coming up, ah, maybe it is not enough space for it already. But mm -hmm. some plants have really, uh, the roots are growing upwards. Yes. Uh, maybe because the exact place is uh, has lack of 
uh, maybe uh, air mm -hmm. uh, and nutrients that it has to go grow I, up. I think a good example would be the mangrove trees. Yes, very where, good. Shadow. Where it's always very muddy, mm -hmm. and you know, mud is very compact. Yep. So it's very hard. Imagine trying to breed underwater. That's already difficult exactly. for us. Exactly. Plants they're used to that to breed underneath the ground when the ground is a bit more loose. Mm -hmm. But mud, you know how mud is? It's very thick and it's yes. very sticky. Yep. So when the roots try to breed, it, I can't breed. I can't breed. So they come out. <laughs> they come out from the ground. And so they can. Ah, Barshan, I think you must have your own science show. Oh, really? <laughs> you can demonstrate that really well. Because so. I can really understand how the plant feels, right? Yeah. They can't breathe, so they have to grow their roots out to be able to breathe. That is one amazing thing about science because when we see, when we observe things, mm -hmm. we can know why. Why is this thing happening? We are wondering ourselves. We must search and look for answers. Right, Amang Sean? Yes, yes, that's right indeed. Also, aside from that, I think um, if we can talk about the importance, I know maybe we don't really cover this, but I would also like to, to, to add on. Okay. Especially for roots, since we're in the topic of roots. Sometimes when there is heavy rain, mm -hmm. and if we are around maybe like um, a place that has uh, contours of the earth, or maybe let's say for small hills, mm -hmm. if there is no trees on the hills, and there is heavy rain and there's exposed sand or soil, what can happen is this soil can 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 just come onto yes, the road. Which it is, will become a landslide. Yes, that's the word, landslide. Yeah. So I think having roots or having trees planted around these areas can help avoid that as well. Yes, and one very good example of that plant is actually the grass. Oh, yes. Yes, grass can actually hold the soil. Ah, wow. I have actually an example of okay. grass here. Oh, there is just a... Uh, but it's a bit wilted. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Uh, this... Oh, you know what? For ah. the grass itself, yep. maybe we can give some time to our students uh, who are okay. online to explore it. Maybe if you have grass uh -huh. at home, or you can just use the internet to explore a bit, yes, you can, can find out more about that. So while you're exploring for that, how about we take a short break and be back for you for Troka on Dine TV KPM. Baobab tree, known as the upside-down tree, is quite strange-looking as the branches look like roots. Its bark is fire-resistant and it can live up to 3,000 years. back from Toroko on Dine TV KPM together with teacher Nina and also me and also I, Sean, Steven. Okay, so today we have explored a lot of things, really, really interesting stuff. How about we find out from our friends who are online what they have learned so far. Okay, let's hear from Shamil. Shamil? Hi, Shamil. Different plants may have the same parts. Yes, different yes. Uh, different plants may have Same similar parts. parts. Yes. Very true. Okay, Dian, what do you have for us? I agree. For example, we can see the flowers have different color, but their leaves have the disseminated veins. Yes, that is right, right? Yes. Good job, Dian. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Okay, Adani. Can you give? Uh, can you tell us what have you learned so far? I now understand more about part of them. Yes, thank you, Adeni. What about Ikram? Ikram? I can compare different plants and their parts. Yes, you can compare by your observations. Very good, Arissa. I know. I know the function of 
is is part of that rule. Eh, sorry, plank. Plank. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. That is very good, Arisa. So now you know what is the function of a leaf, flower, stem, and also root. Very good. And last but not least, from Amsha. I like different plants. Oh, they have this similar parts. Yes, yeah, similar parts. Yeah. Ah, Angsha was saying different plants have similar parts. Yes, that is absolutely right. Well done to all yeah. of our friends. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm so yeah. glad. Really, really <laughs> well. They have job, learned guys. so much from this exploration. Maybe, uh, Teacher Nia, could you also sum up for us what we have learned today? Okay. For today, we have learned about parts of plants and I really hope everyone will appreciate our nature, will appreciate the plants around us and everywhere else. As we know, plants are our best friend actually. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Very, very important to know all the parts of plants. And again, thank you so much to Teacher Nina for sharing with us all this knowledge and also for leading our exploration. And also to my friends who are online with us, we got uh, Ikram, Dian, Arisa, Shamil, Amsha and also Adni. Thank you so much. And for those, uh, those of you watching at home, hopefully this is beneficial to you. Make sure you stay tuned on Day TV KPM for more interesting shows and we'll see you in our next episode. Take care. Bye.